The woman already had a nanny, but she refused to stay with her at night because of other commitments. Feeling helpless, the woman looked for another nanny. However, things took a different turn when she left her son with the new nanny alone. She was forced to rush home after discovering how the nanny treated her son. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose, like, and share this video with your friends. Meggie 7801 confessed she had new mom anxiety, so she did a lot of background checks before hiring a new nanny for her six-month-old son. She explained, I scoured reviews, paid extra for the background check, etc., picked someone with several great reviews. She admitted she got a weird feeling that day, so she went out with her husband and got nanny cams. She planned to install them in the house secretly. The couple had paid the nanny to reach their house an hour and a half before their intended time to leave. They wanted to make sure the nanny got along well with their baby. Her baby kept on crying for the next 30 minutes. When all was settled and instructions were given, the couple left the house to get to the event they had to attend. When OP, original poster, checked the hidden camera footage a few minutes later, she expected her son would be asleep. But the footage showed something else. Her baby was wailing while the nanny was nowhere to be found. She recalled, I can rewind the footage on my phone and found basically five minutes after we left, she laid him on the play pad and walked out. The woman assumed the nanny must have been in the washroom, so she waited for a few minutes. She saw that her child was calm when the nanny left him on the bed, but he started crying a few minutes later. Her baby kept on crying for the next 30 minutes. Thinking the nanny may have taken longer than expected in the washroom, OP gave her the benefit of the doubt and waited some more. Then she described what she saw in the footage a few moments later. We see her go in the room, get something from her purse, and just walk back out. He is still crying. Then OP saw the nanny pick up the child and bounce him while watching TV, but he didn't stop crying. She sat on a chair and put the baby on the floor, but the boy was still crying. After five minutes of the baby crying, the nanny tried to calm him, but at this point, OP was furious. She decided not to go to the event anymore because she couldn't trust the nanny with her baby. However, she also questioned herself if she was just being too suspicious. She explained, She pulls him out and is bouncing him pretty roughly. Not my style, and I'm not very comfortable with it, but not abuse. OP noticed that the nanny was getting frustrated. She tried to make her son sit on the bed, knowing he couldn't balance himself, so he fell on the bed with his face in the blanket. The nanny stood there and then patted his back after a few minutes. When OP and her husband saw this, they immediately rushed back home. On the drive back home, OP saw the nanny give her son a bottle. Before she left, she told the nanny he might not want the bottle, so there was no need to force him, but it seemed like she was forcing him to drink the milk. The helpless mother saw her child cough as the nanny force-fed him. After monitoring the nanny through the secret camera, OP finally reached home and told the nanny to leave. She didn't confront her because she was shaking with anger. The woman wrote a Reddit post asking other Redditors if she overreacted. One Redditor replied, I wouldn't blame you much if you physically assault her. Would be weird if you weren't upset. Meanwhile, another Redditor who didn't have a child assured OP she was not at fault. However, the Redditor was opposed to installing cameras without letting the nanny know, saying she would be pissed if she were the nanny because OP was invading her privacy with the camera. On the other hand, Sfak empathized with OP, saying, Oh my God, if that were me, I would have been livid and advising OP to report the nanny to the authorities and forward the footage to the agency. Others like Automex advised OP to hire a new babysitter. She asked OP not to worry if the babysitter is not the top sitter, as long as she is assured of her child's security and hires someone she thinks is the best. After reading the comments, OP admitted she should correct her post. She shared that the nanny didn't leave her child crying straight for 40 minutes. However, it felt like she left him for too long. Most Redditors agreed OP was not overreacting. They asked her to hire someone who would prioritize her child's safety over everything else. Another comment emphasized that nannies did not have to love the children they babysat, but the least they needed to do was care for the children's well-being. While many did not like that the concerned mother installed hidden cameras, they assured her that she did not overreact and that it was her duty as a mother to make sure her child was in the right hands. The woman also reasoned that she did not tell the nanny about the hidden cameras because she wanted to see how she would treat her child when she was not home.